Good morning, class. Our topic today is Principles of Design, TLE Grade 8, Quarter 1, Lesson 2, Week 3. Content Standard. The learners demonstrate an understanding of graphic design tools. Performance Standard. The learners create videos with graphics design in a safe and responsible manner. Learning Competency. Learning competency the learners will utilize graphic design tools for graphic production. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to 1. Discuss the importance of graphic design. 2. Identify how graphic design has been applied in the real world. 3. Get to know the principles and elements in graphic design. 4. Learn the fundamentals of graphic design and desktop publishing. Watch a video on the principles of design to have an understanding on the next topic. Reflection. What have you learned from the video? What are the principles of design discussed in the video? Principles of design. Principles of design are guidelines that help designers organize and arrange the elements of design in a harmonious and effective manner. These principles serve as the foundation for creating visually appealing and functional designs across various mediums, including graphic design, architecture, interior design, fashion design, and more. The following are some key principles. 1. Balance. The visual weight of objects, texture, color, and space is evenly distributed on the screen. It can be symmetric balance or asymmetric balance. 2. Hierarchy. Hierarchy establishes the order of importance within a design, guiding the viewer's attention to the most critical elements first. It is often achieved through variations in size, color, contrast, and placement. 3. Emphasis. 3. Emphasis. Area in the design that may appear different in size, texture, shape, or color to attract the viewer's attention. Sometimes referred to as dominance. Emphasis might seem similar to contrast, but it's not quite the same. Contrast deals with the difference between two objects, and emphasis deals with the impact of an object. 4. Contrast. Contrast refers to placing two opposite elements together. This most often refers to a contrast in values, very light areas next to very dark areas. But contrast can refer to any opposing elements, such as a contrast in different textures, colors, shapes, etc. 5. Movement. Movement means guiding the user's eye to a predetermined path in a composition. When a viewer views a design, they are first attracted to the focal points of the design. By careful placement of these focal points, designers can easily guide the viewer through the design. This is called movement in design. 6. Repetition. Repetition. These are the repeating visual elements on an image or layout to create unity. Repetition is the recurrence of a design element commonly utilized in patterns or textures. Repetitive elements can be used in conjunction with other principles to create a design that leads a user's eye to a focal point, has continuity, or flow. A repetitive element could be repeated lines, shapes, forms, color, or even design elements. 7. Rhythm. Rhythm is the visual tempo of a combination of elements when used repeatedly and with variation, it gives the feeling of organized movement. A rhythm can be regular, flowing, or progressive. 8. Proximity. Proximity refers to the grouping of related elements together, creating visual relationships and organizing information in a clear and intuitive manner. In design, we use proximity for two main reasons. 1. To create connections, proximity can create relationships between visual elements in a composition, create relevance, hierarchy, create organization, and structure. 2. To dispel connections, 
Proximity can also be used to suggest no relationship between elements to break organization and structure. Two, worked example. Create a mood board. Have participants gather images, textures, colors, and other visual elements that exemplify each principle of design. Then they can create a mood board either physically or digitally. Arranging these elements to demonstrate their understanding of how each principle works, they can add a quote slash message that blends on the design. Three lesson activity: digital photography. Students will demonstrate an understanding of the principles of design in digital photography by capturing images that depict elements such as balance, contrast, variety, repetition, rhythm. Movement and unity.